Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So today's video, many of you have asked me to make, and it is a review of Bioma. Uh, I have to say I was pleasantly surprised by a lot of the products in this line, but there are some that I would sidestep for skin of color. The reason is that for skin of color, we have larger melanocytes than Caucasian skin. So our cells are easier to trigger. As I always say, one scratch, one bite or one burn and we hyperpigment. So you can't afford to irritate the skin too much. At the same time, we tend to require slightly different ingredients. We require tyrosinase inhibitors. We require more ceramides as we have less ceramides in our skin than Caucasian skin. Uh, and we require humectants because for us, uh, our skin becomes duller when it's dry. And that tends to be a problem that gets worse as we get older. And so if we're just aware of what our skin needs, then we can do a better job of feeding our skin and giving it everything it deserves. As you know, all my videos are non-sponsored. I don't accept payment from anybody. And that's very important because our whole skin of color community really does need at least one source that's non-sponsored, that's evidence-based information that we can rely on to tell us whether it's worth our hard-earned money or not. Right, so if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please do and hit the notification bell. The reason is that I will be in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single YouTube video, which means you can come and ask me your questions. And um, it's also great to join a couple of other of our things. One is Instagram. Uh, so I tend to do a lot of polls on there. So I tend to ask you questions that you would want on YouTube. Also on TikTok, you can follow me at Dr. Meter Rattan. And we also have a private Facebook group called Dr. V Sock Family. And that's a fantastic place to talk about your skincare journey. And we have, I think, about 18,000 followers in there now, uh, subscribers. And so, from all parts of the world, different skincare journeys. And so it's a fantastic place to come and ask your questions, upload your pictures. So please do join that if you haven't already. And of course, you can get your hands on a copy of Skin Revolution. It's a book that I wrote, published by HarperCollins, available on Amazon. And it goes through everything. If you are a skincare nerd like I am, then you will absolutely love this book. So uh, yeah, get your hands on a copy. Right, without further ado, let's dive right in. Starting off with the Bioma Moisturizing Gel Cream. So as you know, when you look at the ingredients list, it's in descending order. So the first ingredient has the maximum percentage. Often it's water. If it's an emulsion, a cream, then water, aqua will be the first ingredient. That would make sense. If it's a fat stick, for example, then fats will be the first ingredient. Uh, but most of the time it's water as a first ingredient. And then the second ingredient here is glycerin, which I love. Glycerin is a fantastic humectant. It's actually my favorite humectant. Um, so it holds water in the top layer of skin, but it's not as strong as sodium hydronate, which can actually dry the skin if you're not in a humid environment. Humid environment. The reason is that water has been drawn from the deeper layers of skin to the epidermis, which we do not want. That leads to wrinkles. Um, so, for example, if you're in a desert type environment, a dry environment, opt for glycerin over sodium hyaluronate. Uh, but generally, for me, I prefer that anyway. Uh, the sixth ingredient here is niacinamide. I love it. Um, so niacinamide is really your best skincare friend because it does everything from sebum control to helping with redness on the skin to damaged skin barrier. Um, so it really has many benefits. Uh, plus it's got ceramides in it, which I love as well, good for skin of color, and it's NAFE safe. So NAFE safe is a phrase that I've coined, which basically makes it easy for you to see whether a product is good for your skin or not so good for your skin. And what you're looking for is no denatured alcohol, no fragrance and no essential oils. The reason is that denatured alcohol dries the skin, it evaporates from the skin, taking water molecules with it. As it is, we have less ceramides in our skin, our skin gets drier and duller quicker, so you want to avoid that. It also generates free radicals, which damages collagen, so you want to avoid that. Number two is fragrance. Fragrance, three to 4% of the population has contact dermatitis to fragrance and with that, we have to be careful specifically for skin of color because for us, it's not just that we have a little bit of irritation that goes, for us, it could lead to a rash, but leads to hyperpigmentation, which could be there for years. So 
if you just look at how many people in our global skin or color family, it's just something we should all avoid. And the third one is essential oils. Essential oils, because of the volatile nature of the ingredient, it is a skin sensitizer. And it's the same thing that we want to avoid really uh, for all skin, but you know, my passion is for skin of color. So please do sidestep that. Right, so I like this product. It's a simple hydrating cream with niacinamide in it. Um, it's, I would say it's not revolutionary. Uh, it's very simple, you know, you could even look at CeraVe, for example, and got quite similar ingredients, similar inky. Um, but I do like it and I would recommend it. The next ingredient here is the hydrating serum. Um, so the hydrating serum, the second ingredient is glycerin. The fourth ingredient is squalane, uh, which I love as well. It's um, an occlusive, but it's nourishing to the skin. It's my favorite oil I would recommend, even as a facial oil. Then it's got ceramides and it's nave safe as well. Uh, so I do like it. It's good to repair the skin barrier with this. So for example, if you've over exfoliated the skin, or you're in an environment which is very harsh on the skin, then repairing your skin barrier is something that you would want to do. And I'd recommend this serum to help you. And then you can even top it up with the moisturizing gel cream. Moving on to the jelly cleanser. So here it's got cocomidal propyl betaine, which is a gentle surfactant, which I like, uh, especially if you have dry or sensitive skin. It's got ceramides in it and allantoin. Allantoin is an anti-inflammatory. So I do like this product. I would recommend this product, especially if you have dry, sorry, if you have a um, yeah, dry sensitive skin. Okay, moving on to the next product, which is the Bioma Brightening Toner. So a glycerin is the fourth ingredient. Salix Alba Plant Extract is anti-inflammatory and an antioxidant, so it's got that in it too. Although if you're allergic to aspirin, then I would avoid this ingredient and this product. The thing is, with this product, it's claiming to be a brightening toner, but there's no tyrosinase inhibitors in it. It's basically an exfoliant. It's got lactic acid and mandelic acid. So that's how you're getting the quick brightening effect. Uh, which is good and I love it and in fact I even use that in my exfoliate to glow these two ingredients but this is not going to give you long-term brightening uh, effects because it has no tyrosinase inhibitors in it so it's good but it's not great so I just wanted to make that differentiation just because for us for skin of color we do require a cocktail of tyrosinase inhibitors to get the effects that we want and actually the next one's a little bit more disappointing. Uh, they call this the Bioma Brightening Serum. So the assumption would be that it's going to brighten the skin with tyrosinase inhibitors, but this is really not gonna be effective for skin of color, to be honest, because it all it's basically just a hydrating serum with niacinamide. So yes, you're gonna see a slight glow when you put any moisturizer on, and it's got niacinamide in it. And honestly, nowadays, I feel like most moisturizers have niacinamide in it, it's sort of basic now. It is nave safe. I think this is fine for Caucasian skin, but really, I really wouldn't waste your money on this particular product. It's not gonna be very effective. And if you have hyperpigmentation, definitely, don't waste your money, there are better products on the market. The next product a lot of you have asked me to comment on is the Deep Puff and Brighten. So it claims to treat dark circles. Now dark circles are the hardest form of hyperpigmentation. Periorbital hyperpigmentation is the hardest to treat on the entire body. Um, and I know this because I used to treat professionally, uh, we had a clinic that treated hyperpigmentation on the face, body, and some pigmentation was very easy to treat, some was very hard to treat, and the hardest would be dark circles. Dark circles requires really at least six months of a cocktail of strong tyrosinase inhibitors to start seeing any effect, okay? Now this product has only has three O-ethylascorbic acids, so that's basically just vitamin C, which just is not strong enough to treat dark circles in skin of color. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, so it's hydrating, um, you know, it's nave safe, but it's not gonna help with the dark circles. So again, I just wouldn't bother wasting your money. And then the next product is the Bioma Moisturizing Rich Cream. Okay, so the second ingredient here is glycerin, then it's got shea butter, ceramides, and bakuchiol. So I actually love this product for pregnancy and I would recommend you get this one too. Right, hopefully I covered all the best sellers and the main products that you wanted me to cover. If there's anything else, can you just write them in the comments below? Any other brands you want me to review, also write them below. Today I am doing a huge uh, YouTube filming session, so a lot of you asked me for foxtails, so I'm about to film that now. Uh, what else am I filming today? Best and worst oil cleansers I'm filming next, then beauty of 
Hosen or Josen. I'm probably going to say that wrong, but uh, so many of you have asked me for that, so I'm going to do that. If I have time, and I've got literally, I've got like all my papers below me. <laughs> if I have time, I'm going to do best and worst treatments for fine lines around the eyes, skincare routine for a damaged skin barrier. I'm going to try and film that as well if I have energy. Uh, and then I've got a couple more, but I just don't know if I'm going to get that far. <laughs> I'm also going to attempt to do a Instagram live today for you too. That's why it's worth um, following me on Instagram, Dr. Mito Rattan, because the days that I'm filming, I try and batch everything. So when I'm writing my scripts, you know, I'll spend three or four days just writing scripts. And then when I'm filming, I'll just do it all in one day and I'll try and film like reels. I'll film, you know, Instagram lives. I'll, I'm trying to get into Facebook lives too, but um yeah, my voice is just not as strong as it used to be. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.